The calculator has a built-in function to help us find the x-intercepts or the zeros of a graph. We're going to start this video with x squared minus 2x minus 3, a parabola that opens upward. Here we have the graph. Now from our previous experiences, we could probably make some guesses about where those two x-intercepts would be. However, the zeros function helps us find those places exactly. Once we press second and enter the calc menu, which is the secondary option of the trace button, in the calc menu, we have option number two, which is zero. This will help us find the x-intercepts. So we arrow down once to two, we choose the zero. Similar to the maximum and minimum function on the calculator, we need to give the calculator a left bound and a right bound for identifying the intercepts. So I move my cursor to the left of this intercept that looks like it's right around negative one, and I press enter. Then I move to the right of it, and I press enter. And when these little arrows come up at the top, that's the calculator's way of telling you that we are looking in that region only. Once I make my guess, which really can be anywhere in that space, but it's a little bit nicer for the calculator if you try to get close to the intercept, and it finds the zero at negative one. If a function like this has more than one x-intercept, you simply just repeat the process again. So we'll go second into the calc menu. We'll do option number two, which is the zero. And we're going to go looking for the other intercept that's on the other side of the y-axis. So we'll choose enter here to the left of it, and then we'll go to the right of it. These arrows indicating that that's the space I'm looking for, so I'm only going to find this x-intercept. I get close to be nice to the calculator, and I find my other zero is at three. So while the zeros function of the calculator requires you to go back and quote unquote do it again, uh, it is able to find x-intercepts one at a time. 